explode intermission before the video starts. Guys actually put out a patch for the VHX, they nerfed it. First of all, dispersion will now increase faster, so meaning less accuracy if you fire fully automatic. The fire is less accurate, but for whatever reason, they reduced the horizontal recoil by about 10%. And also, they admitted that the gun is the most used assault rifle. I'm just putting this in here that, since I know that a lot of people probably won't read my description or read the pin comment. And since I'm bitching about the VHX not getting a nerf, I thought about let's just put this at the beginning of the video before I go over the patch notes. So yeah, I just wanted to say this very quickly and now have fun with the video. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I will be covering update 6.3 for Battlefield 2042, releasing January 30th. Of course, I'm recording this before the update goes live, so if there are any changes that are still coming out, I will obviously either put them down in the description or do a pinned comment where I list all the changes. So with this out of the way, let's get started. First of all, the update for a 0.3 update, since we are switching from 6.2 to 6.3 with this update, is kinda underwhelming since there isn't a lot that's really changing. And that's for an update we have been waiting for for like I think around two months now. I think the last proper update was like in December when we got 6.2, so yeah, but let's get started. So first of all, the year of the dragon event coming February 6th and it's already depressing. So it's like with the other events, when you earn enough ribbon, you get rewards. And the rewards this time around are a weapon skin for the Super 500, we get a new weapon charm and an XP boost and a tier skip. And I already have to say like, what are those rewards? We get a skin for a gun basically nobody uses, the skin doesn't even look really good. We get a charm, yeah nice, wow, who cares. Additional XP boost, like I don't know, XP are quite useless in this game and the tier skip, like huh? Those are the rewards for the event. I know in the roadmap to season 7 they showed us Dozer with a PBX skin. I will also show you them on screen right now. And I expected those were the skins we could get for free. But of course no, it's EA, it's DICE, their store bundle now probably. And we get a shitty Super 500 skin. Like wow, I honestly I don't even need to play the event. Now, as for changes that will come to the base game, actual changes this time around. First, we have Squad Spectator modifier for Battlefield Portal. And to this day, most people probably don't know what it is. Even I don't know what it is. And they actually dice were so nice and give us a tip and said, this will allow you to spectate your squad mates after dying before entering the deploy screen. Once more to redeploy similar to the experience with Hazard Zone. Very nice but nobody played Hazard Zone, so nobody can do anything with this. Another thing they change is that now in Portal it will be possible to create one live custom experiences, like, I don't know, Search and Destroy from like Call of Duty and stuff, you could now make those modes in Portal. Another change is players will now see a crossplay status in the indicator within the main menu if, the, if they currently have crossplay off. So this basically means you have crossplay turned off, there will be a symbol in the main menu showing you that it's off. Then we have extended the personal player color function to include more HUD elements. You can set your own color which will be visible to yourself within the options HUD selection. So if you wanted to color your name like purple, red, blue, gray, black, whatever it is, you can now do this, but only you will see it and only when you are in the start menu. So once you get into a game, your color will default to the basic settings. Then some gadget and specialist changes. Fixed an issue with the head hitbox of a player mounted on Crawford's Vulcan could become misaligned. This is a decent fix since sometimes it felt like you headshotted the player on a, on a Vulcan machine gun and you didn't get a headshot, but so not bad. Fixed an issue that could cause a player to not see a successful Soflam lock-on against vehicles. Kids. Yeah, also a good change. The penguins have applied extra glue to the C5, so they should now stick to vehicles with greater efficiency. Also decent. And now for the most important change they made, the APS 36, so Irish's APS, should no longer intercept smoke grenades. For one, I really like this change since every time when I want to push on redacted, you throw a smoke grenade and one Irish literally makes it impossible for you to push. So I really love this change, but on the other hand, I'm also a bit concerned since on redacted, sometimes when there's no Irish, you already have so many smoke grenades, you literally can't see anything anymore. And I also have a feeling that especially on close quarters maps or rather in close quarters areas. We will go back to a meta where everybody just throws smoke grenades and everybody is using pike with like an M12, what we already have on Redacted. And then you see smokes everywhere, you can't see anything and then you have a lot of pikes with four legs running around and shooting you. So 
I don't know. We will need to see how this plays out. There are more changes to the tracer darts. I don't think anybody uses this. Fix the target acquired prompt to sometimes be shown in destroyed vehicles. Yeah, might be nice. And fixed Boris's sentry gun, sometimes targeting destroyed vehicles. Yeah, I think that's also nice, but who cares really? Now, here are some portal changes. I will put a picture up on screen with the changes. Since I'm not reading through this, you can read this for yourself. But basically, all the changes there, nobody cares about. So yeah, I don't know. They probably shouldn't even mention them in the patch. Now for some weapon changes. Everybody that expected a VHX nerf here, I have to disappoint you, there's no VHX nerf. I mean, why would they? Their gun is properly balanced, right? So they fixed an issue that could cause an empty magazine on the SVK to still contain bullets visually. Okay. I don't know. Nice. Fix an issue where the carry handle of the VHX D3 sometimes didn't render correctly. Okay. Fix texture issues. Here's a fix. I'm not really sure. Fix an issue that resulted in some high recoil fast firing weapons from gaining vertical recoil after the angle exceeded a certain value. So if I interpret this correctly, I think this means that when you shoot a gun like the K30 for example since it has the highest fire rate, if you didn't control the recoil and you and your recoil basically went up to a certain point, after a certain point you would gain more re vertical recoil than what you should get. Yeah, this probably means overall reduced recoil if you ever get over this certain angle but for most people probably they never even reach that level. Fix the discrepancy between the collection screen and ammo count in game for the ACWR X10 magazine. Yes in my ACWR review I also talked about this when I talked about attachments but the screen shows 36 bullets in the extended max but you have 40. Fix an issue when using the PSO1 scope on the SCAR H. Okay, this is portal since we don't have a SCAR H in the base game we only has an, have an SFAR but okay guys. Then G428 changes, AC42 changes, but they are just text changes since they probably can't update the text the moment they change the guns for whatever reason. And then fix the alignment of some scopes with the rail of the M416. Okay, whatever. Fix the alignment of the ACOG scope on the M60E4 LMG. Yeah, whatever. And now here are some vehicle changes. I don't play vehicles, so I put them up on screen, read through them, pause the video. But yeah, what do I think about this patch? Well, it's a patch that does a whole lot of nothing. You could probably scrap everything and literally just say, no VHX nerf, you get some sh shitty skins for free, but you have to pay us money if you want the really cool skins for the dragon event. And no, you will see smoke spam on a free map since Irish's APS doesn't shoot the smokes out. That And that's basically it. So they could probably reduce the patch notes down to like three or four sentences and it would have the same effect as what they've given us here. I also don't think this makes sense to make this a 6.3 it's more like a 6.2.2 update but yeah whatever. As I said in the beginning should they add something more or change something I will let you know down in the comments either with pin comment or down in the description but if nothing changes this is the patch that will go live January 30th when you will see this video. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video consider leaving a like and subscribing for more Battlefield videos in the future and I will see you in the next video.